Friends, I invite you into a spirit of prayer. Let us pray. God of love, God of all goodness, God of all living things, we ask that you may change the words written by your children into words of transformation, contemplation, and action. As Christ transforms us every day, may the words we heard also transform us. Amen. A mushroom is a toxic transformer. A dandelion is a community of healers waiting to spread. What are we as humans? What is our function in the universe? I love this quote from Adrienne Marie Brown, writer, activist, facilitator, and science and science fiction enthusiast. She raises up two often overlooked natural beings in our ecosystem, dandelions and mushrooms. As adults, how often have we walked past dandelions along the sidewalk or in our own garden and shrugged them off as weeds unworthy of a second glance? As children, do you remember picking up a dandelion at the end of its life cycle, holding it by the stem, and blowing the feathery white fluff into the open air? I remember many a recess hunting for dandelions alone or with my friends, plopping myself in the grass and watching the bits of fluff spin in spirals from the plants into the open air. And do you know that these feathery fluffs carry seeds that will spread up to five miles away from the origin originating plant? That means the breath of one child can carry the potential of new life for miles and miles. In mushrooms, how did we get so lucky to live in the world with these resilient, intelligent, and sometimes edible organisms? A few months ago, I caught up with what feels like the rest of the world's fascination with fungi. Merlin Sheldrake's Entangled Life taught me about the ways fungi are interwoven into our own world. They have complicated, interconnected systems called mycelium that function like tree roots spreading out from a point of origin for miles and miles. Fungi are both one and many. They have something almost akin to a communal nervous system and talk to each other by sending signals. And not to freak you out too much, but fungi are everywhere. In our walls, in our food, and yes, even in the pews you're sitting in right now. Lest you think non-edible fungi are only out to do us harm or make us sick, they actually, as Adrian Marie Brown writes, take substances we think of as toxic and process them into food. A mushroom is a toxic transformer. A dandelion is a community of healers to spread. What are we as humans? What is our function in the universe? Today, we are honoring the traditions of All Saints Day and All Souls Day. These feast days typically fall on November 1st and 2nd, respectively, each year. All Saints Day celebrates the saints of the church, or at least the saints of our own lives who have guided us to become the people we are, spiritually, vocationally, and ethically. If you've been worshiping here with us the past year, it should come as no shock that I've been thinking about Dorothy Day, one of my favorite uh, still unofficial um, saints, but still a saint, saint in my heart nonetheless. All Souls Day, also called Commemoration of All the Faithful Departed, remembers our loved ones who have left this earthly realm, leaving their memories with us. This week, I've been thinking about many of my loved ones who I've lost. In particular, one of my Divinity School mentors, the Reverend Tim Stein, has been present in my memories. I want to ask you a question that may sound a little silly or odd, but I'm going to ask it anyways who have been not just the saints and souls in our lives, but who have also been the dandelions and mushrooms in our lives. That is to say, who has been like a community of healers? Who has been a toxic transformer? Who has been your dandelion by your side, encouraging you to take care of yourself, uplifting you in joy, helping you wash your wounds, embalming your soul? And who has been your mushroom, taking in your ills and discomforts with reassurance, transforming your pain into peace, protecting and defending you and your well-being. 
Let's take a moment to call these names and faces to our memories silently, our dandelions and our mushrooms. I want to read this hymn from St. Hildegard von Bingen, a Christian mystic, writer, and hymnist from a thousand years ago. In a sermon called Hildegard and Us, The Way of Creative Possibilities, the Reverend Patricia Wagner writes, St. Hildegard was born a hundred years before St. Francis of Assisi, 200 years before St. Julian of Norwich, at a time when women were uneducated and their lives unrecorded and she would become the earliest known composer in the Western world, a doctor of the healing arts, the author of books of myth mystical theology, and consulted by popes and princes. Yet it took until 1987, 800 years after her death, before her work was finally translated into English. Here are these beautiful words from St. Hildegard, words that may again bring to mind the dandelions and mushrooms of your life. Holy Spirit, the life that gives life, you are the cause of all movement. You are the breath of all creatures. You are the salve that purifies our souls. You are the ointment that heals our wounds. You are the fire that warms our hearts. You are the light that guides our feet. Let all the world praise you, holy wisdom, soaring power. Encompass us with wings unfurled and carry us, encircling all above below, and through the world. Among our earthbound saints, souls, dandelions, and mushrooms, we also remember the trinity of abiding love that brought these beings into our lives, facilitated our relationships with them, and now holds them in tender, divine hands. And as we will hear later on as we partake in the sacrament of communion, we remember that Jesus, too, wept for his friends, his disciples, and for the whole of Jerusalem. The mixed joy and grief we may feel over all saints and all souls' days are holy joy and sacred grief. Holy joy and sacred grief are the proof and products of a love brought into our lives by God's own hands. A mushroom is a toxic transformer. A dandelion is a community of healers waiting to spread. What are we as humans? What is our function in the universe? Is perhaps our function in the universe as human beings to open ourselves to the vulnerability of love that God presents us? Is our function to be the dandelions and mushrooms of another's life so that when we too are gone from this earth, we may have truly lived these words spoken by Jesus. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, but the kind of peace I give to you is not the world's peace. Don't let your hearts be distressed. Don't be fearful. You've heard me say, I am going away, but I will return. Let's get up now and be on our way. Amen. <laughs>